everyone and welcome to our lesson in curriculum development. Together we will be learning about the Walmart's model of curriculum development. Here's our objectives. At the end of the session, we will be able to explain the Walker's naturalistic model of curriculum development. Identify the three phases of Walker's naturalistic model of curriculum development. Examine the advantages and disadvantages of Walker's naturalistic model of curriculum development. Tulum is dynamic process, a change for the better means any alteration, modification, or improvement of existing condition to produce positive changes. Development should be purposeful, planned, and progressive. Dynamic models of curriculum development describes how curriculum workers develop curricula. In various educational contexts, one of the dynamic models of curriculum development is the workers' naturalistic model of curriculum development. Dr. F. Walker was an assistant professor of education at Stanford University where he got his Ph.D. in 1971. His specialty was curriculum and his major interests are the process of curriculum. He was particularly interested on how curriculum workers actually do their tasks in curriculum development. Walker in 1972 felt that the objective or the rational model were unsuccessful. So, he devised a model called naturalistic model. The naturalistic model is a descriptive model in contrast to the classical model or perspective model by Tyler in 1949. Use the acronym PTD to easily remember the phases of naturalistic model identified by Ted F. Walker, which in term P for platform, D for deliberations, and another D for design. P for platform. In a platform phase, Walker suggested that curriculum workers bring with them their individual beliefs, preferences, point of view, knowledge, and values. They have their own ideas on how to do their tasks and prepare to discuss and argue about them. In phase 2, D is for deliberations. Deliberations, on the other hand, it involves identifying which facts are needed for means and ends, generating alternatives, and considering consequences of these alternatives, applying them to practical situations, arguing about, accepting, refusing, changing, and adapting, interaction between stakeholders begin, and clarification of views and ideas in order to reach a consensus shared vision. On the last phase, Another D is for design. Here, curriculum developers actually make decisions which are based on deliberations. It involves planning, decision-making, and actual development of curriculum. These decisions affect curriculum documents and material production. Based on the research articles and from our readings, we discovered Walker's naturalistic model advantages among others. First, in Walker naturalistic model, the important output that is generated by curriculum development is a set of decisions by the curriculum developers, target group, and other party stakeholders. Second, the engagement of the stakeholders in the planning and development stage empowered and acknowledged them, especially the teacher, as prime contributors. Lastly, users and other parties involved are given ample opportunity to contribute. While Walker's naturalistic model disadvantages are, deliberation may take on many forms but the most common forms are argumentation and debate, which will consume much time that can cause delay on curriculum process. Another one, evaluation is used only as a means of justifying and discrediting the decisions that are made rather than a self-corrective process that directs practice to the attainment of objectives. 